it reminded even me of my childhood. I wanted to go on the field and just hit the ball as long as I could. Practiced for hours, literally during my vacations. Uh, my day would literally last for 12 hours. I would start at 7 o'clock in the morning to go up till 7 p.m. So, you know, it, it was never enough. So, um, Sashin, can I ask you, you're, there's so much excitement about you joining the NCL. What inspired you to join? It's, it's part of the world cricket has been made, but uh, it's happening in an organized structure. The NCL, you know, 60 strikes, it's, it's, it's like it's fast, engaging. That is exactly what I kind of promote. The feedback that I received from my friends really is not magnificent. So, so something to look forward to, something to be a part of where you know, years down the line you look back and say, I've been able to bring in that change. Yeah, I enjoy doing this. It reminded even me of my childhood. I wanted to go on the field and just hit the ball as long as I could. Enjoy it because I, I practiced for hours, of literally, you know, uh, during my vacations. Uh, my day would literally last for 12 hours. I would start at 7 o'clock in the morning to go up till 7 p.m. So, you know, it, it was never enough that I could do that day after day. So, that is the enthusiasm that I experience now. Enthusiasm leads to a lot of good things in life. I, I could feel that energy there with all the children. And the best part was, you know, that quite a few girls who are technically very, very good. And I, I actually asked one 10 year old, uh, where do you develop this? So she said that my father has been coaching for the last four years. And she looked very good, surprisingly good. What do you think about the idea of women's cricket as well? You know, uh, the way it's been played today. It's fabulous. Uh, you know, there are multiple tournaments uh, going on across the globe. And uh, like we always say, that all the better. And uh, if girls are, are getting excited to be on the field and compete hard, uh, that's the best thing to happen. Is it true that you started playing test cricket when you were 16? Yes, that's right. How has the game evolved since, you know, over the uh, last few decades? A lot of uh, things have changed in the last 35 years. I, my debut was uh, in 1989. Uh, the game has changed and in the form there have been uh, different formats introduced after that. And, uh, it's it's uh, getting faster, shorter. And then when when uh, in, a, in a shorter format, a lot of teams uh, you know, uh, compete hard and they come, come into play because of the duration of the game. A lot of uh, unpredictability, not much time to recover if, if something goes wrong. Not much time to recover. Is that the main difference between the, the T20 and is the different. One yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's played That's differently. Test cricket, ODI, T20, and 60 strikes. 60 it's strikes uh, okay, is, is probably uh, something unique because it's its fastest format of the game, I would say. And, uh, really engaging. Have, have you been in Dallas before? What do you think makes this sort of time? No, this is, uh, this is the first time here. And, uh, when my team was uh, speaking to Arun, uh, we felt that uh, this is the right spot to be and uh, start a new journey from here. And uh, uh, like we always said, that try and uh, make the sport uh, realize. And, uh, since it's going to be part of the Olympics in 2028, it starts from here. Thank you so much.